this is going to be burnt up. The heavens is going to be melted away. But you that are in the spirit of the Most High will abide forever. That was it? Right, come on. St. John 5.29. Check it out. And, and shall come forth. Check, read, give me, give me 28. St. John 5.28. Marvel not at this. Right. For the hour is coming. Right. In the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. Now, let's, let's understand this. All that are in the grave. The earth is one big grave. In the physical grave, too. It's talking about the physical grave. So those that are in the earth walking around dead. And those that are in the physical grave. Check it out, come on. Take John 5.29. It shall come forth. They that have done good right. unto the resurrection of life. Right. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life. Those are they that, that set their life up according to the Spirit of the Most High. They are those that set their life up according to the Spirit of the Most High. They're going to come to the resurrection of life. Read it. And they that have done evil. And they, now it switches. One against the other, the good against the evil, right? Now they that have done evil, read it. Unto the resurrection of damnation. Unto the resurrection of damnation. So there's no escaping it. So if you live according to the world, you're not of the Father. You're not of the Father. The Most High Spirit do not dwell in you. Check it out. Let's go back now. I want that not. You want that. Give me Matthew 4. 4, 8, 10, 8, 10. Matthew 4 and 8. Check it out. Because we must understand who's ruling the earth. And it's not the Most High. The Most High let it be backed up from it. He said, I'm going to see what these people are going to do. Check it out. Matthew 4, verse 8. Right. Again. The devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain. Right. This is when Christ came out in the beginning of his ministry. And Satan came to him when he was in the wilderness praying. Look how Satan tried to deal with this brother. Check it out. And showed him all the kingdoms of the world. He showed him all the kingdoms of the world. You missed the verse. Go ahead, read it again. Verse 8, right? Come out in the world. You just want to see the high mountain. Okay, verse read it again. Matthew 4, verse 8. Again, the devil taketh him up. Into an exceeding high mountain. Right, took him on the top of the mountain. Check it out. And showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And showed him all the kingdoms of the world. Check it out. And the glory of them. And the glory of them. All the riches, all the nice, all the, all the nations that got nice daughters, all the nice waters, all the vacation lands, the palm trees. He showed them everything. Come on. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. This is what Satan did. So Satan is ruling the world. He has power to give you all that is in the world. And those that set their heart, their heart according to the world, they don't have the Father. They don't have the Father. They don't have it. So this is what the scripture said. As we said, it's about distinguishing the carnal mind from the spiritual mind. But who's going to do that? Who's going to get in here and check it out, right? Matthew, give me Matthew 16, 24. Who's going to do that? So the world... It's Satan's, man. Matthew 16 and 24. Then said Christ unto his disciples, Right? If any man will come after me, right. let him deny himself. Hold on. I made a mistake. Go back to that Matthew 4, right? And break down what Christ said to Satan. Because we need this to ride on the coattail of this to understand what's going on. Read it again. Matthew 4, verse... Thank you. Matthew 4, verse 10. Then said Christ unto him, Get thee hit, Satan. Get behind me, Satan. Get behind me. Come on. For it is written, right? Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, uh -huh. and him only shalt thou serve. So worship the Most High, and only him shall you serve. That's what is written. So check out what Christ said on this side. Matthew 16 and 24. Come on. Then said Christ unto his disciples, uh -huh. If any man will come after me, uh -huh. let him deny himself and take up his cross right. and follow me. Let him deny himself. Deny the world. Deny the flesh. And take up your cross and follow after Christ. That's what it's about. So those that are of the world, those that live according to the flesh, cannot please the Most High. You're an enemy of the Most High. You are an enemy of the Most High. The scriptures spell it out. The scriptures spell it out. So you run to these churches and they give you the lolly dolly dance and song and you don't get the breakdown. You run out into the world and you're still living in the world according to the world. And you're destroying yourself. As the brother brought the scripture out, the leaders of these people 
cause in the earth. And those that are led of them are destroyed. They're destroyed, man. Who got it? Matthew 16 and 25. For whoso will save his life shall lose it. For whoso will save his life shall lose it. So if you go and set your life up according to the world and forget the Most High, the Heavenly Father, you're going to lose your life. You may have a grand life in the earth while right you're living. But when Most High come back with judgment, you already got your reward. You already got your reward when you was in the earth, when you was living, when you were prosperous. So you're going to lose your life now when the Heavenly Father come back with judgment. This is what it's all about, man. This is what it's all about. Preach the word. Come on. Matthew 16 and 25. Uh -huh. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And so, you, so you ain't bad, got bad situations, and people coming to you with all types of proposals, and these proposals are dead set against the Most High. And you say, but hold up. This is how I can live. This is how I can pay my mortgage. This is how I can feed my family. And you take that. That's the same thing Satan did with Christ, man. He knew Christ was hungry. He said, turn these stones into food. He knew that. He came when, tight, when Christ was at the bottom, when Christ was low, when Christ was hurt. That's when Satan come. And he comes today like that. He come with propositions, man. That he know a dead set against the most high. And he know that you're in the flesh. And he knows that you're weak. And he come with your proposition. And you take them. And you take them. And lose your life. Check the script. Come on. Matthew 16 and 25. For whosoever shall save his life shall lose it. Come on. For whosoever will lose his life, his life for my sake, shall find it. And whosoever shall lose his life for my sake shall find it. That's what it's about. Lose that old life, man. Hold up. Go to that Romans, the sixth chapter, the seventh chapter. Pull it for me. I'll show you what I want. But don't lose it. Yeah. was alive without the Lord once, but when the commandment came, sin revived, and I died. Right. So I was alive without the Lord once. I didn't understand. I was living my life. But then the commandments came, and now I can see what is sin. So sin revived, and I died. So I lost my life for Christ, and I found out what was right, man. I lost my life.